Hi, it's Greg Hurrell with a Vim screencast. And today I'm talking about Vim Dervish, which is a file explorer for Vim. It enables you to open directories, traverse directory hierarchies, open files in Vim. I switched to Vim Dervish from NerdTree, which is what you can see here on the left. And I used NerdTree for a long time, uh, almost 10 years. Uh, NerdTree was basically the first plugin that I ever installed when I started using Vim. And if you look at this screencast, this is the third screencast that I made uh, in this series. That was about four years ago. I was already talking about NerdTree at that point. And I'd been using NerdTree for six years by the time I made this screencast. So I want to do two things today. One, I want to summarize a little bit about why I used NerdTree in the first place and all the stuff I was talking about back in episode three. And then I want to show you Vim Dervish and explain why I would switch to something after having used it for 10 years. So uh, what was this whole oil versus vinegar question about? It was about two competing conceptual models for how to navigate file hierarchies in Vim. The first conceptual model is the one that you would bring to Vim if you come from an editor like TextMate and you install a plugin like NerdTree so that you can get this file draw, a project draw on the side, which is hierarchical and enables you to see what you're working on in a very visual way that's present all the time. The competing mental model is the Vim Vinegar model, uh, which is named Vinegar because of a plugin called Vim Vinegar, which says you shouldn't be using project door drawers. Um, you should be viewing Vim as basically a set of windows into a more abstract space. So these windows can consist of vertical and horizontal splits or tabs, and what you show in any given slice of, of window is completely arbitrary. So you can load different files, you can swap between files, you can move things between these windows, and the, the idea is that this, the, the file system doesn't necessarily need to be physically manifested in the screen in a kind of visually consistent way in the form of a hierarchy, but you should just be like a wizard moving through this concept, conceptual like mathematical space of buffers and files. Now, the point I was trying to make in this video, oil versus vinegar, is that you don't actually have to choose the right model because there isn't actually a right model. Uh, what there are are models that suit different scenarios to a lesser or greater degree. And so I would use NerdTree in this kind of file draw kind of mode some of the time when I'm exploring a project for the first time, getting the feel for it. And I'd end up using the vinegar model in a lot of other places. But it's not even just two models. There are definitely more, more than one way to get around a, a file system in Vim. And I try to touch on some of those in that screencast. So if you're interested in this subject matter, I suggest you go back and look at that. Um, and I'm not gonna uh, recap it all now. But uh, what I do want to do now is switch to uh, Vim and show you how Dervish works and give you some insight into why I switched. So let's go to the terminal. I'm going to open Vim um, and just as I would with Vim Vinegar, I hit the minus key to get a view of the current directory. Um, and I can open directories and open files and then move back to where I was and up again, up again and move around it this way. So that's the basic Vim Vinegar mental model. Uh, the other thing that you can notice about uh, dervish buffers is that the name of the buffer is the name of the directory. So for example, if I want to create a file in this directory, I can do E uh, percent tab and it expands out the name of the directory and I can create a new file in here. Uh, so that's basically how dervish works. That's all there is to it. It's super simple. It does not currently have any kind of hierarchical view. So for me, in order to drop NerdTree and drop that hierarchical view, I'd have a pretty good reason. So let me show you what that reason is. Um, and that is performance. So if I go to a directory with uh, thousands of files in it, like this one, um, and I open a file. So let's say I wanna open maybe that one there. Um, if I hit the minus key, Dervish is basically, going to is basically going to show me the contents of this directory instantly. As you can see here, we have nearly two and a half thousand files and it was super fast. Uh, and I can go to another file and then hit up and there it is again. Uh, Vim Dervish is blazingly fast. Uh, and just to prove to you that it's not fruit of caching or anything, I'm gonna to go to another directory like this one, which has, as you can see, 883 lines. That was also basically instant. Um, now let's compare that to the experience in NerdTree. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit my VMRC because I actually uninstalled uh, NerdTree. And I'm going to comment out Vim Dervish and I'm going to add NerdTree. And I actually have to git clone NerdTree because like I said, I don't have it anymore and I've got to remember where to clone it. Mm. 
I think that'll do it. Okay, it almost did it. So we're gonna clone Nerd Tree. Um, I'm gonna open Vim again. And I'm gonna go back to that folder which has two and a half thousand files in it. And I'm gonna open the file. Now that the Dervish isn't active, Nerd Tree is gonna open the file. And here we have the reason why I switched to Dervish. I suppose I could be saying something witty while this is happening. Oh, there we go. We got it. So basically no amount of pretty tree view and extreme configurability and cool bindings is going to make up for the fact that I can't work in directories like this and have myself waiting 10, 15 seconds to open the directory. Now, if I open this file and then reopen the directory again, it was fast the second time, but that first time is a killer. Uh, so that is why I switched to Dervish. Now there is a ticket on the Vim Dervish tracker to add hierarchical views. And when that gets added, I'll be happy. But in the meantime, I'm going with Dervish. So that's all I got for you this time, but I'll be back again soon. So I'll see you then.